Mr. Lim Se Sun, founder, CEO of Amlex Technology, semiconductor services firms, uh, listed in late market now, moving to ACE market soon. Right. Okay. Let's talk about your start in Semicon. I think you were, uh, studied in engineering, right? right? Then you got a job in an MNC. Correct. Let's talk about those days when you made the transition from employment mm. to starting MLEX. What happened in those years? Okay, I was, I was attached to a, a company uh, uh, which is part of the National Semiconductor Group. NS, uh, uh, those days. Yeah, those days, you know, MNC. I think they're very, uh, they're very prominent in Penang. You know, I was there for uh, almost 12 years. As you know, it's uh, as an engineer there, it, it's tough, you know, with the work long hours and things like that. And then, of course, we are serving in an industry where the expectation is very high. You know, over the years, and then, uh, of course, I got this opportunity. Somebody, you know, came to me and says, hey, why don't you come out and, you know, start up your own company? You know, it's easier said than done. And then uh, uh, we came out together, my brother. We started uh, kind of like MLEX. Uh, of course, we started from scratch. So uh, throughout those years, it sounds easy, but you know, we actually went through a lot of obstacles. You know, because the industry that we are in, in Semicon, we make components for the Semicon industry. Uh, investment is pretty heavy. Capex, uh, huh? Capex equipment. is heavy, exactly. Equipment, even, you know, uh, things like, you know, test equipment, it can uh, go to hundreds of thousands of dollars, you know, to, to buy, to purchase. So it was, it, was, it was pretty tough. I wouldn't say that we are on a shoestring budget. Of course, we got loans here and there. But there are a day, funding, cash flow, as usual, you know, you have this entrepreneurial spirit. You don't think much about that. But when you, when you are into it, then you realize, oh, okay, you know, this is serious, you know. So, uh, but over time, during the years, uh, we were struggling in a sense that, you know, we have to be very careful. We cannot make mistakes because, you know, sometimes in the uh, semicon industry, uh, you cannot afford to because of the claims, because of the returns and things like that. So you're very careful and then you cannot fumble. It becomes very uh, stressful, you know. So those were the early days. Like, so, you know, every time we were, we were in, the, in a company, you know, the ground is always moving <laughs> underneath, your, underneath your feet, like, you know. So it's, it's, very, uh, it, it's very shaky. But uh, uh, of course, at that time, I was with Vistage, you know, so Vistage. Vistage are always there whenever we have issues, you know, of course, we have the mentoring and things like that. When we have issues, like let's say you, are, you got yourself into a big hole, you know, other people will like, I'll lend you a helping hand by throwing a rope. But Vistage is different because they're actually inside the hole together with you. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the big difference of Vistage. So I'm very thankful. So uh, over the years, every time we got ourselves into a hole, we come out, you know, we grow stronger. How did you come out of the hole? What kind of holes were they? Okay, one of the things which uh, uh, over the years, you know, when we first started off, of course, uh, our resources are, are not large. So we have to depend on, you know, few customers. We are doing few products. When those products, uh, especially in the electronic industry, in semiconductor industry, you know, we have lifespan of the product. So when the, li the lifespan of the products ends, then you get yourself into a mess because the sales drop. Okay, so these are the kind of things and then you have of course, the ongoing, yeah, you have to pay wages, you know, you have to pay your loans and things like that. So, yeah, the cash flow become a problem. But I think it is good in a sense that every time we get ourselves a hole, and then we have all this uh, lucky break, you know, but again, I believe that I'm a golfer. I believe that you have to be good to be lucky, yeah, you know. So, okay, we have all lucky you make your own luck, right? <laughs> exactly. So, uh, we managed to get out of, you know, all these uh, issues and all these crises. Talk about some of those uh, examples. We have this one customer and then uh, uh, we're depending on them like 80-90% and then suddenly they say that hey you know guess what we move this business to another guy and then of course you know in semiconductor industry we have to do through we have to go through all this qualification process which is not easy it takes time so while waiting then you, you have a problem of course you don't have you know uh, uh, enough business but but somehow you know uh, over the time you know through V stage help and things like that we managed to cut costs we managed to lower down our expenses and things like that so we can sustain you know so so the the way that we have to run the company we have to do it efficiently you know while making sure that you know the company can survive you know with the help of V stage yeah that's that's how we got through you know crisis after crisis. Yeah, because if you started your business 20 years ago, right. that means you would have been through the, um, maybe you even touched the global financial crisis. Exactly. Did you? Yes, there was uh, a 2008. Mm. 
Asian financial crisis, mm. uh, uh, not the Asian 87, then 97? Not the 97, because we started our company in uh, 05. Okay, we, so you saw GFC, yeah, Global GFC, Financial GFC, Crisis. Right. Yeah. The, the one in like 09, 10, yeah, that was, that was pretty massive. And then you also went through COVID. So you've been through two exactly. global yes. disasters, right? Exactly. What about surviving those? How did you survive those two? So like I say, you know, uh, because every time it's a, it's, 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 it's a financial situation, you know, because we have to pay wages and things like that. So when we get through, of course, we are in an industry where, you know, sometimes we have captive, captive market from our customers. Also. So our customers are willing to help. So they're like, okay, you know, instead of we pay you a 30 days uh, a payment, we'll give you in advance, you know, so we can pull yourself through. You know, that's, that's one, one thing where we, that's how we survive. And uh, of course, through uh, looking at ways of how to reduce uh, costs, you know, making sure that our operation is more efficient, that also helps. Okay, that's the, 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 the first part where we, we manage to, you know, get through the first stage of, uh, uh, you know, this uh, global recession. But for the second one, okay, uh, uh, the COVID, uh, in a sense, because we are in electronic industry, we're a bit lucky because the demand exploded. Everyday life, people will think that, you know, it's so much dependent on electronics, you know, your handphone, the media, everything. So it was a good year for us, like, you know, but it's bad for the world, but it's good for us, like, in a sense. Yeah, I mean, that was a year when Amazon and Tesla and Apple, they just went through the roof, right? The share price. Um, so, so it's been 17 years since you started the business and uh, you found yourself now uh, on the lead market. The lead market is of course the junior exchange before ACE and then ACE is main market, right? So you have told me before that um, being on to lead is a break for you. Uh, all the time we want to position ourselves to, you know, MLEX, you know, we started from scratch. We are a very tiny com company. Uh, nobody see us. So when we got ourselves into leap, at, at least the visibility is there. You know, people start noticing us. Of course, uh, the other plus point is, of course, we managed to raise some funds. So it helps us also on the cash flow. And then we were able to expand, we were able to buy better equipment. We, better to, we are able to replace our, uh, the legacy machines with new machines, with, you know, give, give us more efficiencies and things like that. The leap market, uh, it's good. It's, it's a platform where we can, you know, of course now uh, it's, it's, it's been like, I think three and a half years since we got ourselves into the lead market. So now we are poised and getting ready to, you know, to, to go to ACE market. You know, of course, that's the ultimate goal of everybody who's in the lead market. Then of course, from ACE is... From ACE and then hopefully transition to the main board, you know. So that's, that's what we want, you know. But it's quite a sweet spot now because semicon semicon industry, okay, it's been very cyclical through the years, but it's very hot right now. And there's also a, a supply crunch, right? Right. Um, what is the future? Where is the future of gadgets in your in your opinion? Because you're you're tooling up to supply, ma, right? Not the, right, the, the right, equipment, right, right. Right, right? Where is the future? Okay, like in in uh, uh, today's world, because everybody is talking about going to automation. We have five Gs, you know, industrial 4.0. Uh, of course, the things that we do, we are utilizing the same thing in our factory today because we're embarking on industrial 4.0. You know, uh, making sure that, of course, when you talk about Industrial 4.0, it's just not merely talking about automation and things like that. It's the whole enterprise of your business. And everybody is looking into that. So if you look into that, then for us, which we are in the cheap industry, semicon industry, our direction, you know, our potential is definitely larger because uh, everybody will be transitioning tra transition to, you know, uh, doing things uh, with automation and things like that. So you're going to need more of the electronic stuff. In MLEX, we are doing uh, interconnect products, you know, for IC. It's actually metallic connector to connect, you know, the IC chip to, you know, maybe PC board or... But it has to be precise. It's got to be pre precise, exactly. So the, the, the demand from the consumers, at the, at the same time, also pushing, you know, company like MLEX to innovate, you know, to make sure that we we stay relevant, you know, in the industry. So we have to, we have to uh, increase our uh, capability, you know, increase our capacity. So that's that's going to be the next challenge for MLEX. You know, that's how. So how are you doing this? How are you dealing with this kind of like hyper growth stage of your? Must be hyper growth now, right? Exactly. Because the demand is, expectation is both, yes. right? The market is exploding, right? Yes. Covid is over. Yeah. Borders are opening again. Right. People are buying like nobody's business. Malls are full, right? Exactly. How are you so after seventeen years of being in business, mm -hmm. how are you dealing with this? How are you what are your uh, okay, our our philosophy is uh, of course uh, it's not merely my own. Of course, it's the total uh, management of the company, uh, growing horizontally. But it's a vertical integration of our product. That means we try to add value into our product all the time. We also want to 
you know, enhance our product in a sense that it goes up to the next level. You know, rather than today, rather than being demise la, yes, or obsolete. Exactly, la. yeah, right. yeah. And then uh, we don't want also uh, for people to see us just merely as a, a subcontractor, or you know, uh, because Malaysia uh, has to move up the value chain. Exactly, right? exactly. Yeah. So we have to vertically, vertically integrated. We have to add value in our product by moving into there. Also, we have to uh, making sure that we have the correct resources. You know, we have to make sure that we bring in the right talent. You know, how are you doing that? Places. Because it's a talent war, isn't it? You know, for MLEX, a company like ours to be able to compete with a multinational, if you are in Penang, you know, you can see that there are tons of factories setting, being set up all over Penang. And everybody know. fighting for people. Everybody is fighting for land, everybody is fighting for people, you know. Of course, talent is, it can be nurture. Uh, we bring in people, we will try to nurture them because there's a lot of uh, facilities in Penang, like let's say PSDC, so as I said, V-Stage. You know, we can groom leaders, you know, that, that's important. We have to groom people with the right mindset to be able to, to take on, you know, you know, the challenges that, that we're going to be facing because we are in the you know, semicon electronic industries. What is the, what would you say is the one thing that keeps you or gives you the most stress? <laughs> <laughs> keeps you up the most at night. Previously, the one that's keeping keeping me awake at night is like receiving calls from customer, like hey, they have an issue, you know. But of course, today I'm no longer in a position. I mean, thank God, you know. Today we are our operations, you know, the managers are very stable, you know. So now the things that keep me awake is like uh, how to push myself to go even higher, you know, like. Uh, this, this year, I've achieved so much. So what is going to be the goal for next year? For the fact that Amlex is a listed company, of course, I have investors, and I have shareholders. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The expectation, right? expectation is high. And then, uh, of course, uh, the people is Amlex also. The expectation is high. I, as the, I have, I, as, as the boss of the company, as the Amlex company, I've got to uh, motivate the people. And at the same time, I've got to motivate myself oh, because yeah. they are pushing me, you know, my people also. At the same time, they're pushing me. Seriously, every time I've got to be on my toes, you know, to make sure that okay this is what we can do and you know making sure that people understand you know the direction in MLEX we, we monitor in such a way because everything is very data driven you know every everything is is based on numbers so there's no, no there's no guesswork so uh, uh, with that then it's easy to set goals set targets you know like okay uh, like this month this is how much we're going to do next month this is what we're going to do okay and then of course through market intelligence we also, we also know that okay in the future what is the expectation you know let's say you know from from our industry okay output terms is easy to quantify and easy to measure right but own self own self motivation own self trying to fight away complacency own own self trying to you know try and spend more time in the factory and less time on the golf course <laughs> I mean, no, yeah, but yeah, it's a yeah, very... Of course, it's a balance. In, balance. in real terms, right? Exactly. A lot exactly. of uh, entrepreneurs have to, yeah. have to find that motivation to keep on going, right? Yeah, exactly. How are you doing that? On my side, of course, the motivation is... I, I set uh, personal targets like, okay, like, uh, for instance, today we're in the late market. I want to go into the ace market. After that, I'm going to go into the... Uh, just, uh, so so you just have that, yeah, you challenge yourself. So you, there's, there's always this drive to excel, you know? So, uh, and sometimes you can also do it, you know, because even though you are, you know, uh, trying to tee off, but your brain is still like, you know, <laughs> yeah, saying that, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, don't, don't forget, okay, your, your, next challenge, your next challenge in the business world, you know. What has it meant for you, this Vistage membership? It's been 18 years really, right? It's been 18 years, so... We went through hell, the whole eight circle of Yeah, hell, it's, it's so... Yeah, the cyclical, the, the, it's cyclical. The troughs are so deep and the exactly. peaks are so high. Exactly. Right? Exactly. It's crazy. It, it's crazy. So, uh, when you are down and uh, of course with this stage, you know that you are not alone. You know, I think that that's very important. Every entrepreneur needs that kind of network, do you think? Okay, a Vista aside, right? But do you think to succeed in business, you need to have that network of peers to... Seriously. Yeah, to help you problem solve, uh, to motivate you, uh, to, to also be a very personal in a way friend because it's quite lonely, right? For a company at Ablex where we have, we have reached this kind of milestone, of course you need Vistage organization. Uh, you you know, the mentoring, uh, yes, or else the experience is going to be quite unbearable. <laughs> I mean, seriously. <laughs> Trying to succeed like, nowadays, right? It's a very, very tough course. environment now. Uh, uh, one thing is uh, uh, throughout the years, I think perseverance is very important. You have just, to just, just, just keep you can, your head down. yeah, keep your head down and 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 grind and you know it's true greed and commitment. You know, you have to be patient and uh, 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 there's no shortcut. Nah. 
seriously there's no shortcut you know as, as much as I want to think that sometimes you know you, you want to have this shortcut you want to cut corners but it never works you know there's no shortcut uh, another thing is of course you have to be on top of things I think that's, that's very critical because the moment if you're not on top of things then uh, if you just kind of like yeah yeah you hear all this stuff this, this words empowerment all this you know you leave it to your people but you know uh, won't be surprised if maybe three months down the road you come back it's already gone really like, the thing, you know so you have to make sure that you, you're always on top of things you know you got to keep your eyes on the ball and uh, I think these are the few advices like you know I can give uh, would you would you do it all over again? You know, there's one time my you know one of my uh, corporate girl you know one of the tumultuous years uh, you know when you know we were really down you know so he, how, she how came down? to me. No, no, tell me how down well, was it's, it's terrible you know sometimes. Cannot pay salary or yeah. yeah. Uh, I always make a point that I pay salary. Of course, I don't pay my own. You know, but of course, sometimes we have problems with, let's say, suppliers. We cannot pay on time. And people are chasing you. You know, you have to avoid phone calls. That kind of thing. So one of my girls came to me and said, "Hey, boss." You know, uh, do you ever regret you set up MLEX or not? You know, I was like, in an instant, I said, yeah, maybe I will regret more if I don't set up MLEX. <laughs> yeah, I will regret more if I don't set up MLEX. <laughs> we have to continue and persevere, lah, you know. It's, it's, it's not easy, but, you know, that's the, that's the spirit of entrepreneur, lah, you know. What, what drives you then? Is it, is it some, you know, some people, they want to change, it's not like Elon Musk, he wants to change the world, he wants to solve in the city traffic, he wants to solve overcrowding on Earth, he wants to solve climate change, you know, all these things. Some people want to have fi financial gain, right? Because they come from tough background, right? Some people, they don't like to work, they want to be independent, they want to make their own decisions, right? Um, what's your motivation? I first started uh, MLEX, of course we have people who came along with me and we, we kind of like set it up together. So I see MLEX, I, I cannot afford to MLEX to be a failure. It's also for the people because I have people who are together with me. Because they it, it feels, you. yeah, they rely, you know, the family and everybody. So that's one of the things. So you can see that it's, you can say that it's community. But of course, you know, uh, MLEX being a small company when we first started off, it's actually for the people. So that fundamental uh, uh, point is, is some, sometimes when we during the startup days yeah, that's a one that's one thing that motivates me you know to make sure that I continue make sure I, I cannot make MLEX fail you know but of course now it's, it's a different situation now it's like the stability is yeah, the stability there. is there and of course everybody is proud to be you know an MLEX employee you know so you you want to maintain that so that's the, another motivation where do you think Malaysian semicon players can be in 50 years time now? Um, because we're still producing parts of parts, right? And okay. it's not necessarily the highest value stuff, right? I can see that now people are moving up, especially Penang. People are more into higher level of products, you know, not just merely being a subcon and, you know, making components. You know, we have companies in Penang are actually doing the design of the IC chip, you know, and then of course uh, the, the top level would be you know, the uh, wafer manufacturing, la, you know, the making of the IC chip itself. And as many, many circuits as possible. As exactly, actually. Like. So the design portion is important. I, I've, I've, I know of people who are into this now in Penang, you know, doing the design part, you know. So I think it's good for, for Malaysia and uh, of course it's, it's, it's a very competitive world. If, does that law still hold true today? I think was it um, Andy Grove who talked about that law? The Moore's law. Moore's law, right? The, the power of computing doubles every 18 months. Yeah, it, does that still it, hold true? Uh, it's getting tougher and tougher now. Yeah, right. it's, yeah, it's, it's getting right? tougher tougher because it's if you do that, there is so much you can do. So it's getting tougher and tougher. So of course, of course, at the same time, there are a lot of uh, uh, innovation, a lot of science research that have been going to. Yeah, maybe they have to do something different, not using the same uh, uh, method of producing uh, IC now. You know, so yeah, this I personally I'm uh, anticipating that you know this would be another game changer like in the. Uh, uh, semicon yeah, world like might well be right 5g everything has to change right? exactly the machines have to change the phones will change the devices change the whole network has to change right we cannot expect to be resting on laurels like, because things will be keep on changing you know you cannot sit yeah. still man yeah yeah, yeah. Amazing, <laughs> exactly man. exactly Jason, thank you for your time thank good you luck with much. the listing yeah, and good luck with the ace much. and then beyond that main market thank you very and then much. after that the world <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you for having me here. Thank Come you very see. much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Thank you.